<laughs> the Isla Short special ingredient is probably my weird love for riding really hard uphill. <laughs> The Tweed Valley is pretty special to me because I kind of moved here when I first started racing seriously and there was just this whole world of mountain biking on my doorstep to explore and it was somewhere I'd kind of come as a kid quite a few times but to be old enough to kind of venture out myself on the bike and find new training spots was really cool and I've lived here for like eight years now and I feel like I know it like the back of my hand pretty much and it's just really nice to come back down here from Aberfoyle where I'm staying at the minute and just feel like I'm coming home. I think the thing I love most about riding as opposed to training is exploring Scotland. I just use it as a means to explore my country because I spend so much time abroad and actually my favourite place in the world is Scotland. <laughs> and I raced my first Enduro World Series, which arguably is not an off-season break activity, but for me it was just fun and no pressure. I definitely race best when I'm having a good time, but often that comes with, um, like, taking the pressure off myself because I've been injured or I don't think I'm going to race very well. Whereas the enduro taught me that you can have fun and be on really good form and race your best. Even with that like desire to want to do your best on that day, it can still, you can still like get the best out of yourself, even if you're having a laugh and enjoying it. So usually once my season finishes, I take quite a big break just because the season's really long. You're training from November um, pretty much until the next October and you don't get much time to do unstructured riding or other types of exercise. I have always identified myself as a cyclist over and above a racer and I think that's made racing a really sustainable thing for me because I can't ever imagine wanting to take time away from riding a bike. I definitely need time away from training and away from racing, but quite often if I have a week off, I'll be more tired <laughs> than if I have like a structured training week because I just love being outside. And I grew up riding a bike since I was really young and my parents took me and my sisters to so many different places. And for me, it's so much more than my job in racing. It's like, it's a family thing. It's a really personal thing that I enjoy and all my best friends are cyclists. I think it's really nice because no matter how racing goes, I always have like a really deep love for riding a bike and that will never ever change. In terms of racing, I, I definitely started out wanting to be a legend in the sport, but I quickly realized that being at the top is a lot harder in so many ways than you think when you're younger and you're doing well. So uh, yeah, from a racing perspective, I would just love to win one World Cup. <laughs> it's pretty much all I want at this point. I know that enjoying the process and enjoying riding a bike is like key to all of that for me.